Jared from Trends Painting, and this is how I roll a wall. Now, our wall's already cut in. The homeowner had already done some repairs and spot priming. So now we're gonna put the first coat on our wall. How much paint should you put on that roller, Jared? Make sure your roller is good and coated. Now, one of the things I do that other people don't is I like to put a good amount of paint on the wall to spread out. So, two dips, sometimes three. And the reason I do this is now I can concentrate just on spreading the paint out. That way ensuring a good wet edge. Now, when you get to the plugs, to ensure a uniform finish, I always side roll into the wall now. Make sure when you're in the corners that your pressure is on the outside edge. That way you're not leaving what I like to call a sausage. Some What's a sausage? A sausage would be one of those. A big so. gloop of paint left by your roller edge. Lock your arms so you're not hitting the ceiling. Let's see, Jared. So lock. Make it so you can get close to the ceiling, but there's no chance. Once you get good at it, you'll be able to get some speed, get close to the ceiling, and not hit the ceiling. And then when you look down the wall, if you see any of what I call sausages, make sure you take care of them now while the wall is wet. And how do you take care of them? Simply just take your roller, if there was one here, and get rid of it. And that's it. So, we'll carry on and finish off this wall. And you guys have a nice day. Happy painting. If you need anything, trendspainting.com.